Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another break of 2022 Panini Elite Football. Six box, half case, pick your team four. A lot of nice stuff here, all card ship. Second half of the case that we popped open a little bit earlier this evening. Big thanks everyone here for getting in on the action. Thanks for spending a bit of your Sunday with us. If you've got that Prism 11 next to your name, that means you won those teams in that Prism pack that we did, random team number 11. And Sean Maddock ended up with the, uh, the Falcons as last spot mojo before we pulled the remaining teams for that filler. However you got in, I appreciate it. Thank you. And we've got one more case in the store. That's uh, pick your team five and six are loaded up already. So if you want to run this back tonight, we definitely can. And I think break five and six will be our... Uh, will be our last case of that for the time being. Uh, maybe we'll get more, but for now, that's, uh, that's all we got. And I think Teddy Jaspi, who's on Instagram Live right now, at Jaspi's Breaks, he does personal boxes. I think he still has a handful left. If you just want to buy a whole box for yourself. So either way. Really busy day in the NFL. I love it. It's good to have football back. Tough one for my Raiders today, but I mean, that offensive line is not going to do the Raiders any favors. That's going to be. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't be that bad, but I think it might be. Um, well, we'll see. Hopefully, they'll evolve as the season goes along. Not how you start, how you finish. Um, we got Sunday night football on the background. Buck, I almost said Patriots. I the Brady was on screen. I almost said Patriots. Uh, Nineteen to three for the Buccaneers. They seem to be cruising. The first touchdown of the game was in the third quarter. Mike Evans touchdown. It's not been field goals all all since then, all until then. See if the uh, Cowboys offense can wake up a little bit. I guess the, the poll today was correct. 60, 60 some odd percent of Jaspi viewers had the uh, Buccaneers minus two and a half. Looks like I'm, I'm the square that's taken uh, the Cowboys plus two and a half. I guess they could still get close. We'll see. All right. Good luck, everybody. A lot of nice stuff in this, uh, this elite. As usual, nice clean look. That's out of 25. Rookie elitist Chris Olave for the Saints. Nice clean design. I think most, I think except for these inserts, I think most of the, uh, all the cards are now with their, uh, with their pro gear now, which is nice. There's Quay Walker to 93. Derrick Henry for the Titans to 399. That'll be for the Titans. That's for EA. Got Quay Walker for the Packers. That'll be for Jonathan. Yeah, Lo Logan was ta Logan talking. We talk about all sorts of stuff here. All wrapped up in this family friendly show. Trent McDuffie to 999. And we've got a Josh Allen. Do you think we could spell Allen by the end of this break? That's the 25. Um, uh, Logan, Ethereum merger. What do, you, what do you think about that? I've heard some people say it's it, it'll be the end. Some people say to the moon. I mean, I'm sure the answer is somewhere in between, but what do you think, Logan? I guess the Ethereum miners won't be too happy, right? There's Kate Otten to nine ninety nine Buccaneers. That'll be for Walter. And etched in time signatures, Chad Ocho Cinco, Chad Johnson, fifty six out of one forty nine. That's awesome. 
That's for Diego. Picked up the Bengals straight up. Appreciate that. Nice. And out of 24, Jonathan Taylor. Nice die cut for the uh, Colts. We're hoping for another strong season for him. That'll be for Jeremy and his Colts. There's a uh, Keontae Ingram to 399 for Arizona. That'll be for Eric. The Logan thing is going to be awesome. It's not going to blow up in price anytime soon, but maybe in 2023 it'll get moving once people settle into it. And nice Drake London pen pals on card autograph for Sean Maddock and the Falcons. The. Uh, The USC product, former USC product. How did how did he do today? I know the Falcons tough loss to swallow today. But did Drake London play? Yeah, he did. Not not a bad day. Five receptions on seven targets for seventy four yards. No TDs, but not a bad day. Yeah, decent, right? Jaquan Brisker to nine ninety nine. Jamar Chase had a really nice day. There's Mike Williams. Moxie Relic. I don't know if he did too much against my Raiders, but Chargers still beat my Raiders. Who's got the bolts? That's going to be Chris with the Los Angeles Chargers. It's still weird to say that, but... 77 out of 99, Terry McLaurin. For uh, Walter and Washington. And that's your first box. Now Logan's also saying 2023, Ethereum gets moving. And then 2024, Ether at 10K? That'd be nice. What does that mean for uh, what does that mean for Bitcoin? I guess I'm not really super deep into crypto, but I keep an eye on it. Got a little bit invested here and there. Nothing serious, but it's fun to fun to track. Um, now, does this put Ethereum in a better position to be a more widely accepted cryptocurrency? Like people could buy breaks on JaspiesCaseBreaks.com with Ethereum. Does it set up set it up for that better than Bitcoin? Or is Bitcoin still king? Uh, so those major cryptocurrencies, you know, don't really seem to be as uh, as an oppo oppo the economy pick anymore. I think they really follow the the main index. They really follow the ups and downs of the S and P five hundred. So it's gotten to be kind of like that, but. If you're saying that if you're saying Bitcoin in 2024 hits 125 and Ethereum hits 10, then you know that means I'm sure the I mean the major indexes in the U.S. economy that means they're doing well too. But no, Logan doesn't see wide acceptance like that anytime soon, though. Joe Christian doesn't think they'll ever rebound. So do you think it just kind of hover? I, th I think it does follow the, it does follow the markets a lot. So I think, you know, inevitably, historically, the S and P 500 has done well. If, you, if your time horizon is longer than 20 minutes. But uh. Yeah. Let's see here. 
what causes various Bitcoin to go up and down? There's Matt Judon. But buying and selling, just like... Uh, I thought it was going to be autographed for a second. That's for the Patriots. That'll be for Jerry. Um, I mean, just buying and selling, just like any other security. But while that was sort of harder to predict many moons ago, many years ago, I think nowadays they'll often just follow, you know, the, the main market indexes. So, so that's like, if you look at a graph, it's very, very similar nowadays. Rookie elite is Kenny Pickett. Pittsburgh, that'll be for Sean Maddock. It's Justin Herbert. Spellbound 75. I'm not sure you think we'll be able to spell Herbert by the end of this break. Maybe. We're working on Allen, and now we're working on Herbert. This will be for Chris and the Chargers. We got Trent McDuffie to 999. And we got a out of 399 Tyler Batty for Oliver and the Ravens. The McDuffie will go to the Chiefs. That'll be for Sean Robinson. And we got a Kevin Harris. And this makes me think like these are all autographs. No, they're not. Jerry with the uh, with the Patriots. Is this an autograph? No, it's a relic though. It's a hit. Elite coverage. Troy Polamalu. It's going to go to Sean M and the Steelers. There's Russell Wilson to 399 for the Broncos. Scott with Denver. For the Bears, Jaquan Brisker to 999. And we got a turn of the century autograph, Sam Williams. 156 out of 199, rookie auto for Dallas. That goes to Travis and the Cowboys. Won that spot in the filler. And Dallas really needs to start waking up here if they want to get back into this game. There's a Britton Brown, 34 out of 99. If, if Panini inserted cryptocurrency instead of points? Man, I don't know. I mean, they wouldn't be able to afford Bitcoin. It'd have to be some random crypto, and I'm not sure if people would be in on that. Uh, Tyler Algier to 399. Hmm. Yeah, Joe's saying Terrence Steele killing their Cowboys drive. This Kate Otten to 999. Yeah, three penalties, two false starts, a hold. Not good. And we got Matt Corral autograph, pen pals, on card autograph for Carolina. That's true. I, I suppose they could they could insert a percent of a coin, Logan. That's a good call. Point zero 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 one. There's Travis with Carolina. Nice. That's another spot that he won in the filler. How does Britton Brown feel about the new king? I don't know. Is um, Britton Brown sounds like a, lo a, a royalist, so maybe he's okay with that. Maybe he's he's welcoming the new currency. I don't know if they were giving away if if there were crypto instead of points, Rex. I might. If it's 
Bitcoin instead of coins. I might enjoy the uh, I might enjoy the crypto instead of the uh, the autograph. All right, next box. Is uh is Mike McCarthy on the hot seat? Because I think, uh, I think Sean Payton is out there, right? And it sounds like Sean Payton's just taking a sabbatical. He might take a season or two off before he throws his hat back into a coaching job. Could it be as recently as soon as this season, this off season? Don't know. I think Sean Payton has a long been a target, a coaching target for uh, Jerry Jones and the Cowboys. It's as hot as it can get. What other seats are hot, Joe Christian? And I'll pose this to the group as well. Who else's coaching seat is hot? I think the Dallas one might be the hottest. Turn of the century autograph. That's tw uh, 12 out of 49. David Bell. Turn of the century autograph for the Browns. Barry Roberts. Got the Browns in the filler. Cleveland, this is for you. There's McDuffie again for the Chiefs to 399 this time. There's Cooper Cup, the 75. For the Rams, that'll go to Jan and the Rams. Isaiah Likely, a likely story to 999. That'll be for the Ravens and Ahmad Sauce Gardner. Rookie on card auto for Bill and the Jets. Oh. Dallas looking alive a little bit here. 12 minutes left. Nice interception. Eric, what's up? Have have you pulled in any of the breaks the the goaded, we've done those Brady goat breaks before, if that's what you're asking. There's Rashad White to 999. We're already asking, have we pulled any cards that ended up in those goat breaks? I don't think so. Not to my knowledge. There's a Russell Wilson to 25. I like that sort of fireworks, sunburst, speckle, something. I'm sure there's a nice name for that parallel. Oh, uh, actually I did. I, I did pull one of those inserts. I don't know if it was numbered, but I think we saw it in the first half. There's Michael Carter to 399. I think those cards were, no, no, that was the that was the Brady letter card. So maybe you haven't seen the goat cards. Here's Justin Fields, Epic Materials. Got the W today. A couple touchdowns. Joe Christian also thinks Arizona Cleveland might be might have coaches that are on the uh, the hot seat. Although Joe thinks Arizona's problems may be due to. Tyler Murray. 
think they got kind of bullied into giving Kyler Murray that big contract. Let's see how that works out. There's Wandale Robinson for the Giants. That'll be for Stephen K. It's Kenny Pickett, rookie card. It's a 999. Yeah, Michael Thomas did look pretty good. He, that, that's a great comeback player of the year candidate. Steeler, that'll be for Sean M. Let's see if Dak Prescott can make some plays here in the fourth quarter. Sunday at football. This is Brian Asamoah to 399 for the Vikings. That'll be for Jerry. Might be a torn pectoral muscle for TJ Watt. Oh, Arizona coach just signed an extension in the offseason, Diego is saying. All right. Uh, I think those are not the same numbering, but we did we do have two L's in Allen. I don't know. We might be able to make up the rest of the last name in the final few boxes. Joe doesn't take coaching uh, extensions very seriously. That's true. They can, they, they can be fired at the drop of a hat. Yeah, I like Kenny Pickett Fence. Should we work with that? We'll try to work that in. Yeah, I haven't really been... There haven't been too many names that have... Inspired, uh, inspired nicknames, but Kenny Pickett Fence, I dig that. Bears coach could be on the hot seat with fans. It's possible, yeah. If, they, if it doesn't produce right away, the one I don't know. That previous regime seemed to hang out, hang around for a while, even though they were bad. So I don't know about that. <laughs> Those guys still hung around for a while. Well, this new staff they just got him this year, so he might at least have a season, a couple seasons. Yeah, it looks like Jonathan Taylor kind of picking up right where he left off. All right, let's see what we got in here. Hashtag good for the hobby. The Jaguars, there's Trayvon Walker to 99. That's going to go to go to Kevin from the Jaguars. Justin Fields at 349. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make Fields in the last three boxes, but you never know. It goes to Travis and the Bears. We've got Quay Walker to 999 for Green Bay. That'll be for Jonathan. And the autograph is turn of the century auto. Calvin Austin the third, 34 out of 99. Rookie auto for the Steelers. Sean M with the Steelers. Oliver, hit us with uh, your uh, your your factoid on Calvin Austin the third. What can you tell us about him?
Davis Mills, solid day for him. 33 out of 90 and a tie, though. Ah, so he's wide receiver six. Hopefully he'll make his way up the depth chart. Yeah, Jay, I, I haven't specifically talked to him about AJ yet, but yeah, my I think that's a safe assumption, Anthony, that that he is happy with that AJ Brown edition. There's Jonathan Taylor for the Colts. Moxie relic going to Jeremy. There's Najee Harris. Might be banged up a little bit. That's the 75. And there's Matt Judon for the Patriots. Jerry, that's the 399. We got Kyle Phillips to 399. For the Titans, that's for EA. But all are saying, listen, that Calvin guy could be good too. It just just has a lot of receivers in, ahead of him at the moment. Yeah, that's good. it was good to see Saquon Barkley have a really nice game. There's Lewis Seen to nine ninety nine for the Vikings. Is is he eligible for comeback player of the year? I guess any player could be eligible for it, but but he did play some games last year, right? I think that might that if Michael Thomas keeps it, he might be the be the one to get that award. It's DeAndre Swift to three ninety nine, three ninety nine. Lions, that'll be for Travis. As will that Barry Sanders will go to you too. And we've got another pen pal Sauce Gardner autograph. This is time black. Blacking. I think the other one's blue ink. Pretty sure the other one. We'll do a recap at the end. There's Kyler Gordon to 999. What's the case hit in this? What are we looking for here? Is there a case hit? Not all products have a traditional one per case sort of situation. I don't remember in years past Elite having a case hit. But I don't know, it could be different this year. Yeah, Rex did win a win a full size Saquon helmet from us last year. And I we we were I'm glad I'm glad you uh I'm glad you kept it, Rex. We were telling, we were all telling him, please, Rex, just hold on to it. I would, I would give him a little more. There he is, right here. I would give him a little, maybe another week or two, but that might convince him he's the real deal, and then I think you might see a good selling opportunity, Rex. Yeah, Oliver's right. Yeah, they win next week. Saquon does well. That's when you. That's when you start thinking. But yeah, Diego, I, I, I think they really should name the. That'd be good branding. Comeback Player of the Year award. Name it after Alex Smith. That story's still crazy. I, I watched the. What was it? The, the ESPN E60, or there maybe it was a 30 for 30, or a Football Life. I forget who did it, but. He tracked his recovery, man, and they showed pretty graphic pictures of his leg and how much they had to cut out and cut away from his calf. Gnarly. Yeah, all we're waiting on Daniel Jones to do well. I mean... Yeah, Daniel Jones definitely at a crossroads of his career. Is this like, you know, the Giants have to, are, are they going with a new quarterback or are they going to extend Daniel Jones or re-sign Daniel Jones? 
Is he in the last year of his deal? But not a not a horrible day. Couple one hundred and eighty eight yards, couple touchdowns, one interception. Here is DeMarvin Leal, twenty two out of twenty five. Oliver, what do you got on DeMarvin Leal? This goes to Sean M. Who the, yeah, Giants have Panthers next. We could be a Giants win there. Practice squad maybe for Leal. Although Carolina didn't look too bad. I think it was just towards the end of the game where that defense just kind of coughed up a bunch of points. And the last second, there's Quay Walker autograph. 43 out of 75. This goes to Jonathan H. The Green Bay Packers. There's Devonta Smith to 399 for the Fly Eagles Fly. Keen Nowen to 399 for the Chargers. That's for Chris. Who are, the, who are my Raiders playing next? They're going to have to retool a bit and look ahead to the next week. Arizona. Two teams. That suffered losses, I'm sure each team will be hungry for that first win of the year. Gabriel Davis to 75, that'll be for Dom and the Buffalo Bills. Great start to the season for the Bills. There's Jalen Wiedermeyer to 85 for Buffalo, and that's for Dom. There's uh, Malik Willis. So I feel like we have not seen too many of these Malik Willis's. Couple picket fences, but not a lot of what you're talking about Willis's here to 99. EA with the Titans. And there's Matt Corral, Pen Pals autograph, purple ink. I don't know how short printed that is. Must be a little bit shorter printed. For Travis and Carolina. Purple ink pops nicely there. Skyler Thompson to 999. I'm going to try, Diego. I'm going to try to get to a home game this season. I was hoping, I usually take some holiday trips to uh, to Vegas. And I thought I was gonna have some time to catch a game, but I think they're they're playing like a Saturday Pittsburgh game during the Christmas week. I actually don't know where they are on Thanksgiving. I'm gonna try. Man, it, not surprisingly, those, those tickets are pretty pricey. Moxie, Relic, Jalen Hurts. Yeah, they, they are. The, good memory, Diego. Yeah, they just moved out there a few months ago, so now now the uh, the immediate family based in, based in Las Vegas. So, yeah, so usually I would go to my parents' place for Thanksgiving and then go to my sister's place for Christmas, but now it can all be done there. Makes it a little bit easier for me, and I don't, I don't mind having to go to Vegas. I don't mind that. Yeah, so I'll figure it out. But man, that, I was thinking of going. Um, I was thinking of going to a home game. I forget what team it was, but I looked up some random non non conference, non division rival kind of team. Man. Like, seats in the nosebleed corners start at like $400. So, I mean, 
That's a lot. <laughs> I, uh, but I guess I have to work that into my into my life budget now. Now that they're in Las Vegas. But yeah, the schedule didn't fall did not fall nicely for me in terms of um, in terms of the holiday time games. Which I believe, I want to say, are actually a little bit cheaper, believe it or not, because most people are traveling for the holidays or not going to football games unless they're locals. So, Ooh, Niners at Raiders New Year's Day. I do get that day off. Could make that work. Well, I have a buddy of mine that's a big Niners fan. I could drag him along. Possibly that's what that's a week 17 game. I want to say that's, that's a, uh, there's a possible playoff implications for both teams there Although that might be expensive too. I guess a lot of people do go to Vegas for New Year's so I don't know I'll figure it out I'm gonna try though. I do want I do want to check out a check out a game for sure. There's Aiden Hutchinson to 99. I think Joe Christian was saying, seemed like every time they, the camera cut to him, he was huffing and puffing a little bit. He got a tackle. But I think he'll be, he'll be fine once he gets used to the, the speed of the league, even someone as talented as him. There's C.D. Land 349. And there's Brock Purdy to 99. That's what they say, right? The, 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 the literal speed of the game just changes completely. There's a huge jump between high school and college, and then a huge jump between college and the pros. There's Sam Howell to 999. Rookie elitist for uh, for EA and the Titans. Yeah, I'm a pro, Eric Houston. I'll try to I'll try to work in those nicknames. Ooh, a Titan? Ah, I mean, not ah. It's Siobhan Curse is pretty nice. 29 out of 49. No offense to uh, Javon Curse, EA and the Titans, but we we're kind of hoping for for Malik. What you talking about, Willis? I don't think it's that corny at all, Joe Chris. Joe Chris is like, it might sound corny, but watching a game through a VR headset is pretty cool. Now, was it one of those things? Here's two out of ten. That'll be for Miami, Anthony. Was it one of those things where, like, you're, like, at field level and you could watch the game? Or, like, 50-yard line halfway up? I feel like that. I feel like that isn't too corny. That might be the way you know a younger generation may grow up. Maybe not this current generation. I don't know. Maybe people that are like born now. Maybe by the time they're in their teens, they. Uh, it felt natural, Eric Houston. It felt loose. It felt natural. It's not forced. It felt organic. There's one out of ten. Barry Sanders. That's going to go to the Lions. Travis. But that might be a way some kids may grow up watching football. I know there's a lot said about like the metaverse and this and that, but I, I really think like live concerts and um, concerts and sports, I think is really where a lot of that, that sort of VR thing is really going to catch on. And I guess hopefully over the years, those those like huge sets, headsets become a little less, a little less bulky. Zvellis Jones Jr. to 399. 
and Chris Olave. Receiver for the Saints. That's an on-card auto for Travis and Nollins. Oh, there are select areas that you can set your view for. All of them are clear views of the field. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you know, football games aren't cheap, Eric Houston, as I've noticed with my Raiders in Vegas. So, I, a VR headset for hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. You know, access to the game, kind of. That's kind of a fun way to experience it. That might be a future game changer. You know, and you know, <laughs> a another. Another revenue stream. Imagine if this, if a football team can sell their seats twice. One for live viewers and again for virtual viewers. Yeah, that's that's why the that's why the NFL that's why they generate so much money. Moxie relic, Cam Akers for the Rams. Jan with that one. Jalen Hurts to three ninety nine. And that my friends is the break appreciate everybody watching that was picker team number four picker team five and six are loaded up in the store that's another case it might be our last case for a little bit thanks for watching everybody here's a quick little recap some nice stuff here i want to say that the elite traditionally speaking not not a bad price point especially relative to like prism or select or something like that you know so Nice way to start adding some some cool stuff to your collection. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.